Hello friends. Welcome back to my channel Instrument Calibration. If you are new on this channel, and if you have not subscribed this channel yet, then please subscribe and hit bell icon so that you will not miss any informative video in future. In this video, we will discuss about types of temperature sensors. First of all, what is temperature sensor? Temperature sensor is an electronic device that measures temperature of its environment and converts the input data into electronic data to record, monitor, or signal temperature changes. In this section, we will learn about all four common types of temperature sensors. First type of temperature sensor is thermocouple. Second type of temperature sensor is resistance temperature detector or RTD. Third type is thermistor. And fourth type is radiation sensor. Let's learn about thermocouple and its operating principle. In the year 1821, a very important discovery in the field of thermometry was made. T.J. Seedback observed that, if two dissimilar metals are joined together to form a closed loop, and if one junction is kept at a different temperature from the other, an electromotive force is generated, an electric current will flow in the closed loop. An amount of electric current flowing in the loop depends on the temperature difference between two junctions. So, if the temperature of the one junction is kept at a known value, the temperature of the other junction can be determined by the amount of voltage produced. This discovery resulted in the temperature sensor that, we know as the thermocouple. Thermocouple types Any two dissimilar metals can be made into thermocouples. However, certain metals have been selected over the time that make ideal thermocouples for various applications. These metals have been chosen for their EMF output, and their ability to operate under various conditions. There are several types of these standard thermocouples in use today. As you can see from the chart that, particular thermocouples are more suited to specific applications, and temperature ranges than others. For example, type T thermocouple is used in applications down to 400 Celsius. Similarly, the type J or iron and constantan thermocouple is the most widely used of thermocouple. It is used in applications down to 850 Celsius. Second type is resistance temperature detector. It is temperature sensor which measures the temperature using the principle that the resistance of metal changes with temperature. In other words, electrical resistance of certain metals increases and decreases in a predictable manner as the temperature increases or decreases. It means, RTD has positive temperature coefficient. The most commonly used metals for RTDs are platinum, copper, and nickel. Among the three metals mentioned above, platinum is the most commonly used metal for RTD. Platinum is most commonly used metals because, it has best temperature to resistance relationship. Secondly, platinum can withstand high temperatures. Platinum is also popular because of its limited susceptibility to contamination. Lastly, platinum has broadest measuring range. The most common RTD specification is 100 ohms, which means that at 0 degrees Celsius the RTD element should demonstrate 100 ohms of resistance. Let's learn, what is PT100, PT500 and PT1000? These all are types of RTD sensors that are made from platinum. The PT100 sensor has a resistance of 100 ohms at 0 degrees Celsius, and is by far the most common type of RTD sensor. The PT500 sensor has a resistance of 500 ohms at 0 degrees Celsius. And PT-1000 has 1000 ohms resistance at 0 degrees Celsius. Now, let's learn what are the advantages of RTD over thermocouple. RTDs are usually selected over thermocouples because of their inherent stability. Another advantages over thermocouples is that, no special compensating lead wire or cold junction compensation is needed for RTD. 
Another resistance-based temperature sensor is the thermistor. Unlike the RTD, though the typical thermistor has a negative temperature coefficient. This means that with an increase in temperature, the resistance of the thermistor decreases. Although the thermistor is a more sensitive device, it is also very nonlinear and usually used over a very small temperature span. Thermistors have not gained nearly the popularity of RTDs or even thermocouples in industry due to their limited span as well as other disadvantages. Thermistor is quite fragile and great care must be taken to mount them, so that they are not exposed to shock or vibration. Another common type of temperature sensor is radiation sensor. Radiation sensor can typically measure temperature up to 3,500 Celsius without contact with the measured medium. And it works on the principle that the temperatures of a target determines the wavelength of the emitted radiation. Moreover, radiation sensors have their biggest advantage in measuring high temperature. In addition to this, small targets and moving objects can be monitored more accurately. Since IR sensors measure only the energy emitted by the object not the surrounding area. Lastly, infrared measurements are much faster, allowing several measurements to be made in less than a second. Thank you friends for watching this video. I hope you really like this video. Please give me your valuable feedback in comment box. And like and subscribe this channel so that you won't miss any informative video like this.